Hi, today we are going to see how we can implement a countdown timer. You, can, you have seen several examples of countdown timers such as the one shown in the following video. Also, we have seen such countdown timers at the beginning of an application which is loading. It could be like a game or any other application for that matter. So we will see today as to how to implement a countdown timer using a simple while loop. So we will implement this program in C. So we will open a text editor of our choice and then we will write a simple program for that. So we include stdio.h to perform input output operations and basically we would want to implement some delay between the numbers so for that we will be using sleep which is there in the std library so now we will write a main program I will declare a variable i counter then we will ask the user to enter a value that will be used as uh, the start value for the countdown timer. So we'll write a simple scanner statement. Now we are going to implement this using a while loop. So we want this counter to be running as long as it is not equal to the value 0. So once it hits 0, it has to stop. So what should it do every time? It has to print the value of the counter uh, which is specified in the variable i counter and then after displaying the value we decrement the counter now that we don't have any more repetitive tasks we will close the while loop and then we can probably print out a message saying that count down timer has expired and now we are done with the program we return 0 indicating successful termination and then we terminate the program by placing a closing curly brace save this program let's say as mycounter.c to the directory and save it now let's compile the program open a terminal and then compile the program using the gcc compiler ok so now that there are no errors in the program we can see the output of the program when I run this program it asks me to enter a value of the counter let's say I enter 6 and it has displayed values in a decremental fashion and when it has reached 0 the while loop has terminated but and the countdown timer has expired but however we don't have any delay being introduced here so let's go and modify our previous program so to introduce delay, what I will do is, I will use the sleep function and suspend the execution for one second. 
by passing one as the parameter now let's recompile the program and then run the program and now let's say I again the enter the value 6 so now you can see the values are being printed at 1 1 second uh, intervals okay but still it would have been better if this program uh, just showed us only a single value rather than the previous value so after displaying a value it has to clear the screen for which uh, we will again use the system function and pass the clear command which will clear the console okay so this uh, we again compile the program and now we will uh, run this uh, program but uh, before that uh, let me make a slight uh, change so that I add few more new lines so that it's shown prominently on the screen okay so let me recompile it again and now I run the program I again give the countdown uh, value as 6 and now you can see the values here changing 6, 5, 2 and once it reaches 0 the countdown timer has expired so <coughs> this is how we can implement a countdown timer in the while loop so what we have done in this while loop uh, again to reiterate is that we have the repetitive tasks uh, that are to be performed that are placed uh, within this highlighted section within the body of the while and this contains the repetitive tasks such as printing the value of the counter, decrementing the counter and uh, introducing a delay and such things and then we specify the condition which tells us till what point should this loop be running and once this condition fails it comes out of the loop and then goes on to execute the next part of the program so this is how we can use the while loop for uh, performing repetitive tasks okay so thank you